Hi again guys, so another Gran Turismo 6 tune and video for you today. This time it's for the Delta Wing, this is the 2012 version, the black version. So you want your racing soft tyres as always. For suspension, we've rounded off the springs to 4 and 14.75. Dampers I've left at 4, anti-roll I've increased to 7 as you can see. Neutral camber on this car and also neutral tow as always. For the gearbox, I've gone for an auto setting as high as possible and a final drive of 3.3. For the diff, low initial torque as always, high acceleration and low braking. You want your high RPM turbo and you want your rear downforce set on 1000 kilos. Traction control we've got turned off because as always it is quicker. And uh, yeah, so this car is actually surprisingly quick. I've only purchased this car recently because I already had the 2013 Delta Wing, the Chrome version, and as that one had slightly more power, I didn't really expect this one to be really any good. But as it turns out, it is a pretty good car. Uh, for those of you who have been subscribed to my channel or watching my videos for a long time, you'll know that the 2013 Delta Wing was actually one of my very first tune videos that I did. And um, the speed on that one back then was 252. But since then, updates have come along, the game's changed, the physics have been tweaked, and also I've fiddled around with settings more, and I've actually got this one, despite having less power, to be quicker than the tune setup that I did for the more powerful version back then. So this one... The 2012 version has a, a cruising speed of 261, but for some reason it only does it on the second straight. On this straight, it cruises at about 256, but then once you get around the curve, it accelerates up to 261. Why that is, who knows. Uh, with Slipstream, I'm not sure what it does with Slip, because I haven't actually used this car in top speed racing. But commonly the Delta Wings do get very skittish above 280. So it you probably won't really want to take it much higher than 280. But it holds itself very well on the corner. And the top speed for its power is very impressive. So yeah, it's actually a pretty great little car really. So yeah, hope this tune setup helps. And as always, thanks for watching. 